So I went to the grocery store across the street and I found something I've been looking for for a long time. I won't review it until I get home, but that is spicy ninja sauce. You hold that up. We got the spicy ninja OG, which is a carrot, ghost pepper, lime. That's a medium heat. It also has a daddle and Hawaiian pepper. I won't get too much in depth on these I, um, until I review them. They got Super Thai Food and the Pina Colada of Doom, which is uh, pineapple, toasted coconut, carrot with ghost. If I butcher any of these, I am so sorry. Um, got this one, which is it says God fearing monkeys and the Bengali spice pirates. It says banana, papaya, and Bengali uh, five spice. So it's chocolate habanero and Hawaiian are the featured peppers. And if I mispronounce this, I apologize. Mauna Ki Magma, <laughs> Kia Magma. Um, it is uh, beets, Kona coffee, and lime with ghost. I found those and I will be doing reviews on them when I when I get back. A few other things I found. Whenever I have gotten dragon fruit, it was always the the one with the red shell and the, on the outside, and then it was white with the seeds. I had never had this kind, which is the I believe red dragon fruit. another bite of that. So it's got like pineapple and kiwi in there too. You see there's so much red that it, it stained the pineapple pink. I gotta be honest, you know, a lot of people, uh, dragon fruit get a bad, bad rap because people tried the dragon fruit. That is uh, when you cut into is the white with the black seeds. The red is so much better. It almost has like a berry flavor to it. It is so good. I'm going to see if I can find um, a whole one of those and cut into it. Another thing I found. I can't have a... Uh, a lot of dairy, ice cream, stuff like that. And they had this, you know, if you know them, they're the macadamia nut brand you see at the grocery store. Uh, this is, uh, it's a macadamia milk frozen dessert. This is strawberry guava. I am not going to read through all the ingredients. Because there's always a lot. I just really wanted to give this a try. I always look for, um, it's hard because if, if I eat ice cream, I, I'm hurting. So, flavor, 9.9 .9 out of 10. This is amazing. Texture, if you like uh, sherbet, it has a very sherbet type texture. It's like a creamy sherbet. 
um, and it's not going to tear your guts up if you have issues with uh, lactose. Highly recommend. I've seen these uh, locally at Safeways and other stores. Not this flavor though. I saw this in Hawaii. It could be a new flavor. Um, There's no way I'm going to pronounce everything on these. Uh, I'll get more into it. But one thing that's cool I wanted to highlight about them. No artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. It says, only the finest ingredients. Tipsy unicorns and big dreams. Made by farmers from seed to table. So I, I love that. It's a uh, farm-grown Hawaiian hot sauce. It's from, I believe, the Big Island, and I, I can't wait to try these. They just sound unique, and um, I'm going to, before I review them, I'm going to ask, find out what they go best on, and then go from there. I would like to demo it with food. And with that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I don't know how much all you can see, but I needed this uh, trip. Um, you'll have a great day. Thank you.